The absolute secret of Epidaurus, Epidavros, it was a healing sanctuary of ancient Greece. This, uh, it was a complex of buildings. Uh, I've in the past made a video about concerning this. Uh, it, it was a place where people would go to heal themselves. First of all, they would fast continuously for the time they were there, about a week, 10 days. They would have daily confessions with uh, specified uh, significant people that were healers. They would uh, have, they would listen to music. They would uh, look at art as they were listening to music. And they would also have daily theaters, one tragedy and one comedy, because the doctors, the healers believed that it was proper for them to hash out what their problems were, because they believed that most uh, problems, the ailments had to do with the psychology of the person. And uh, they had to have a, an inner balance. And that had to do with their psyche, their thoughts as well. They would first uh, cry at their problems to, due to the tragedies, and then they would laugh at the same problems. That's the comedy. They just didn't have a tragedy and then leave. They would have to laugh as well. So this one, Epidaurus was one of the uh, Epidaurus was one of the healing centers of ancient Greece. Nowadays, it's one of the most famous tourist uh, attractions because of the theater. They do have a. I've been there many times, but they do have a a little. Uh, uh, museum. Uh, of course, the complex is ruined, but the theater is in very good condition. And if you're at the top uh, row of seats uh, and you whisper, sorry, if you're in the middle of the stage down there and you whisper, the, p the person at the top row of the seats can hear you exactly what you're saying. This was built at the uh, area of, of a natural site where it was a hillside, so the, the row of seats are actually um, flush at the hillside as you can see here and it's in very good condition and that's the stage right there in the middle if you stand right there and whisper the person at the top on the left hand side at the nine o'clock position on the top row can actually hear what you're saying so nowadays it's one of the most famous tourist archaeological sites in Greece it used to be a place of healing only its healing properties it seems mysteriously are still valid even today a total space of Epidavros is multi-level, which uh, each level uh, seems to operate autonomously, but at the same time, altogether seem to be part of a wider mechanism. There was a guest house with about 150 rooms. There were public baths, a stadium, a 20,000 seat theater, and of course, the famous dome. The center where the cures took place was called Avaton. The Avaton was 80 meters long, the inauguration took place. Hypnotherapy took place there as well. They used hypnotherapy. It was a place where the miracles actually happened and the patients became healthy. And the thank you inscriptions. Those who were healed perpetuated what happened to them with thanksgiving to the gods in marble columns, often describing supernatural he healings and interventions. Today, many of those them exist in the original place or exhibited in the Museum of Epidaurus. It's therefore very important to see what was mentioned in some of them, choosing some very special features, such as this. Ambrosia from Athens, one-eyed. He came as a beggar to the god, and when he returned to the sanctuary, he laughed, and I considered it impossible to heal the paralyzed and the blind. After he had slept in the sanctuary, he came out with two healthy eyes. Evipos carried the tip of a spear on his knee for six years. He slept at the hospital. When it, draw, when it dawned, he came out healthy. Hermodikos from Lamsako, with a paralyzed body. When he slept in the sanatorium, Asclepius healed, healed him. He suggested that when he went out, he should take to the sanctuary the largest stone he could find. So he brought the one in front of the sanctuary. Alketos from Laconia, which is Sparta, waterfall instead. Her mother slept while she was in Lacedaemonia in Sparta and had a dream. When the mother returned home, her daughter was healthy and had the same dream. As Hinus climbed a tree to look out the window at what was happening inside Avato, however, he fell from the tree on a sharp log and destroyed both his eyes. Blind, he ran to Avato and begged the god and he was healed. Aristocritus from Alies, 
His son had reopened to the sea to the point where there was no way back. When his father could no longer find the boy, he slept near Asclepius in the sanatorium. When he came out, he found his son safe and sound. So what has happened in Epidaurus? Medical miracles, quote-unquote, were performed in other healing centers in ancient Greece, but also in much of the ancient world around the world. Similar incidents are reported in the modern world in other cultures that do not have the same religion or belief. Consequently, for example, to the Virgin Mary, if the believer is a Christian. We overlook the fact that the vast majority of churches are built on or next to ancient shrines and Asclepia, and most of them are on ley lines, as we know, although in our opinion it plays an important role. Reading the thank you signs of the ancient Greeks that we have listed, we distinguish the following very important elements. A, the patient was not necessarily faithful, but laughed and mocked at what was happening until he realized the truth of the sanctuary himself, such as ambrosia. B, some kind of surgery took place, which was probably done either with appropriate medical tools or even with divine or bloodless surgery through therapists, as we have sometimes heard done today. C, it is very important to find out that the patient could be many kilometers away while the, the place of the sleeping person was taken by someone else, as in the case of Arati and her mother. D, the concer those concerned did not have to get sick, as in the case of Aristocritus, who lost his son at sea, although it was very likely that he was half drowned while fighting the waves. What was it that showed him to orient himself, but in addition, gave him the physical strength to return back to land. Conclusions. Faith was not necessary. All kinds of diseases were treated even without the patient being present. Mental clarity and physical strengthening were given from a distance. Today, this place does not function as a sanatorium, but as a common archeological site for tourists. However, he did not lose either his glamor or any of his strength. There is at least an incident where, in our modern age, a woman begged the guard and laid down in the dome for a health problem she had and was cured. If, moreover, we trust Eric von Daniken from his book In the Name of Zeus, even the French president Francois Mitterrand secretly went to Epidaurus to cure some of his illness. However, it was not known if his controversial issue was resolved, nor to which god he did turn. The absolute secret of Epidaurus? What drives healing? A deep inner belief, the prayer, the petition, focused thinking, the desire for a miracle, a higher level of consciousness to which the person concerned comes, the general feeling of deep trust, the uh, evocative power of the subconscious, is it a matter of self-submission? But why could not all this happen in everyone's home or in other random places? Did a god really come down, quote-unquote, and do the unbelievable? Did the doctors have the absolute knowledge, or did they help depending on the case? The two examples of Francois Mitterrand and the unknown woman showed that these latest cases show that the human presence of specialist healers, as was done in antiquity, was not necessary. Possibly then, two things contribute to the absolute secret of Epidaurus possibly to other similar powerful places of power, the human will and the place itself. The place hides in it energies. Some people located and then built the appropriate buildings, the dome and the theater, etc., in the appropriate places in order for these energies to be utilized in the best possible way. The mystery that some places hide lies in the natural grid of the earth, but also in the ley lines, a mineral wealth, etc., and in the sacred geometry that connects them all together. The will of man was connected with these energies, and with the help of therapists for some or many cases, healing was achieved. If, in fact, we take into account the analysis of the rewritten name of Epidaurus as acting on the aura, epi vavros, that's a compound word in Greek meaning acting on the aura, in other words, the aura, the human aura, what we see in some uh, uh, special uh, images of uh, the Kirillin uh, uh, Leil uh, auras, according to Mrs. At Altani, when we obtain a more global picture, 
it is the aura that gets sick first and then follows the ill uh, uh, the sick uh, this the symptoms of sickness on the body and all this is connected with the soul of man and the place I've translated for you uh, from a Greek article please leave your comment and thank you for your support finally support my patreon account the daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.